So OpenAI just released a bunch of new updates that makes ChatGPT way more useful. So today we're going to go through custom GPTs. So what are custom GPTs? So when you sign up for a ChatGPT account and you need to be on a paid account, which is ChatGPT Plus for $20 per month, you'll see this bar right here on the side, which is the Explore tab right here. And if you click on that, you'll see GPTs. So you'll see some GPTs that were created by OpenAI themselves, and you can also create your own GPT. So what is a GPT or a custom GPT? Basically, it's a, a customized personality for a certain assistant. So you can see a creative writing coach. You can see Game Time. It's a AI that will explain any type of board, game, board games to you. Uh, tech Support Advisor. So you can try out one of these right here. So let's say uh, Game Time. So let's try that. And you can say explain the game. Uh, let's say explain the game uh, Monopoly for me. Monopoly for me. And it's actually going to do exactly that. But it actually knows, like it's got data on that specific uh, question that you ask in that specific niche. So maybe it's uh, it's you can create something that's specifically about Monopoly, not just any board game. So you can make it an expert in Monopoly, not just something in you know general. So I'm going to stop this right here, and we're going to learn how to create our own GPT. So right here, we're going to click on Create a GPT, and we're going to come up with an idea. So maybe it's some something or an AI that helps you come up with a good travel plan. So right here, let's just say, what would you like to make? So what can I uh, make a, so here's an example here, make a software engineer who helps uh, format code. So I'm going to say, make a a travel advisor that advises places to go to that are safe and affordable to travel. Then I'll just hit enter. So then it's going to start creating the GPT for you. And on the right here, this is where it will uh, will actually uh, you can actually test out your GPT. So usually this doesn't really take long depending on you know how long this instruction is and this is a very vague instruction. You can make them way more specific. So it's updated. So you can see a friendly and knowledgeable ad travel advisor for safe and affordable trips. Now let's make this a little bit more specific. So I'm going to say actually let's test this out a little bit more. So I'm going to say um, I live in and let's just say you know I live in the United States and I want to explore countries that have a completely different culture so even if I spelled completely wrong it doesn't matter ChatGPT will still pick it up uh, that have a completely different culture and that's it I'll just give it that and it's going to give me some uh, some uh, points here budget all that travel blah 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 so what it's giving me is it's not giving me a list of countries so what I wanted to do is I wanted to say give you always give a list of countries or places to go to rather than things like interest tra travel durations and things like that so I'm gonna tell it uh, always give a list of countries or places when when user asks a question so then it's going to update the gbt even more so the, and so this time i'm telling it to not give answers like this so if i ask something like this i live in the united states and i want to explore countries but it didn't really give me any countries here it just gave me like budget interests and previous experience and things like that so I'm going to ask it the same question again, and let's see what it does. Um, oh, and it's also generating a profile photo of us, uh, photo for us. So that's great. So let's hit enter, see what happens. So the profile photo is like, so right now it's just like a square block right here, but it's actually going to give you like a nice, uh, a, some a nice image than uh, just a square block. So now you can see it's actually giving us uh, a, a, a list of countries right here. That's great.
So Vietnam, Peru, Morocco, India, Japan, that's great. And on top of that, you can see right here the profile photo that it created for us. So that's perfect. That actually looks like, you know, pretty much exactly what we were talking about. Um, so now, list giving travel advisors destination affordable. Great. So it's actually updating it right now. Fantastic. So now we can add, try to give it a, a bit more, uh, you know, a bit more customization. So it's a bunch of different uh, 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 countries, but let's say you also want to say, also give it, give more details about uh, certain destinations like cities, uh, buildings, sites, etc about each country or place. Now it's going to update it even further. So let's try it one more time after it updates. So that's just, you know, something I came up with. You can create anything you want. It could be like a creative assistant. It could be um, a, a, someone who writes code for you. Uh, it could be anything at all. So it's a really fun new tool that really customizes exactly the type of AI that you want. So, uh, so in terms of interaction, so just ask the questions. In terms of interaction, would you like travel guide to ask questions to better understand the user preference? Should it primarily respond? So I'm going to say, yes, ask questions. Yes, ask questions. Ask questions. Great. And I could have even just said, no, just give me a list of uh, countries with places to go to within those countries and all of that. But, you know, I think it's good that if it actually asks questions and, you know, try to understand exactly what we are trying to ask for. Lastly, how do you envision uh, tra travel guides personality? Should it be more formal, professional or casual? So I'm going to say it should be more casual. So. I've noticed a lot of AI is a bit too formal. So I think making it a bit more casual would be a bit better. So now it's updating it even further and let's see what we can come up with. So there we go. And I think it's all done. How does it look to you? So let's try this out. So I'm going to say I live in the United States. Same question again and let's see what it comes up with. And let's see if it gives us uh, a list of places to go to and all of that so you can see japan offers everything from festivals cutting technology japanese tea ceremonies and all of that great so it's actually giving sumo wrestlings so it's actually um, talking about places to go to and events to go to uh cuisines india taj mahal so it's talking about the taj mahal to go to in, in, in india great so it sounds good and it's also asking questions. So do you do any of these countries uh, intrigue you or is there any specific aspect uh, and culture uh, you're particularly interested in exploring? So that's great. So I can also say something like uh, I want to explore uh, Africa. Africa. And let's say there's, you know, certain places that you don't want to talk about. Or certain things that you don't want to talk about and I can actually customize it right here and I can say don't talk about these countries or don't talk about this specific topic or this specific city and things like that so now it says I want to explore Africa now it's only giving me places in Africa so that's just kind of the basics of how to create a custom uh, GPT with chat GPT there's also this configure tab as well so you can see the instructions there'll be clear instructions right here it's already automatically written in for you but you can give it more instructions you can name it so you can just call it I'm just gonna call it like travel buddy or something travel buddy and that's it now you're done so this right here is uh, oh so you can see also see the, the the capabilities right here so you can also teach it to explore um, web browsing so it actually goes into Bing and actually researches it for you you can also teach uh, let it uh, create images for you you can also let it uh, write code for you as well so let's say you wanted to create an image but in this case you don't really want 
something like this to create images. So you, you would rather, you know, use real images of places that people want to go to. So I'm going to tick that off. So now it's completely different now. Um, maybe it doesn't need to write code. So because it's just a travel advisor. So I'm going to tick that off. There's just web browsing. So you want it to just go into the website and actually research, um, you know, places to go to in 2023 or 2024 and things like that. So that's it. Now it's all done. And now you have a custom chat GPT. So now if I go back, you'll see the chat GPT um, personalized bot right here. So soon there'll also be, so let me go back again. Soon there'll also be ways for you to actually sell these uh, GPTs. So I'm not really sure when they'll be out, but that's kind of a rumor that I've heard that where you'll actually be able to create these custom GPTs and sell it to other people. But for now, you just kind of create one yourself and you use it for your own self. So here's another one I created called YT Buddy. It's a, um, a YouTube assistant that creates, uh, gives me ideas to create uh, videos and to, you know, for new video ideas, tips on growing my channel and things like that. So that's it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next week's tutorial.